He brought the devil to the night. Uh -huh. Put him to his what? Oh, yes. Open chain. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Be not afraid, he said. Jesus says there is only belief. The scripture says all things are possible to them that believe. Amen. 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 And somebody said, well, God gave you faith to believe, so what do you do? Amen. 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 Fear and faith are two sides of the same coin. Amen. 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 So you're believing, but you're believing for the wrong thing. Amen. Now you can you can believe a bad thing, but you can't believe a good thing. Amen. Amen. Because you allow society to keep you in that mold. When you could have broke free when you got born again. And I believe mean, that was the best thing. And you'll send it to God. You have to cover all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the first, first commandment that we ought to give a new convert is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your name as yourself. Amen. We'll, we'll work on that first. Amen. Because so once people understand that, then they won't allow the world to deceive them to doubt the Father. Mm -hmm. You know, Satan is the Father of lies, yes. not the Creator. Amen. You only have to lie when you can't do any better. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. But what is it that God can't do? Thank you, Lord. So you think daddy can't back up his word? Whatever daddy say will come to pass, so why would he have to lie? See, a lot of folks want to question what he said in the scripture, but the Bible is being fulfilled every day of our life. Amen. 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 Even, Amen. Even the prophecies that were made concerning the end time were being fulfilled right in front of us. Amen. More accurate than our daily newspaper. Amen. Hello, somebody. He said there will be a weakening, perverse, adulterous generation. Hello. Amen. And we live in that time right now. Amen. They will call that with the good evil. Yeah. Yeah. That was good for good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And he that he, uh, as Isaiah think of Isaiah said he that separated himself mm -hmm. from them, made himself a prey. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But that's all right. The same that endures the evil. Shall. Shall be saved. Amen. Yeah. Save when they wicked, the perverse, and the mm -hmm. sinful generation. Mm -hmm. God, there's so much suffering in between. You suffer in the world, and they work for you, buddy. Then what he say? Mm -hmm. His apostles and offenses will not come. Amen. Death will send all sin. Then he said, those that live, God in Christ Jesus, they're going to suffer persecution. Amen. 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 And they're going to see you called by his name, Jesus. Amen. And they're going to hate you. Yes. Right? Amen. But the first two, everybody going to. That's right. Right. Well, tribulation and hard times, hardship, and pain and storms hit everybody. They don't, Amen. Just, hello, they don't just hit, hit the, the sinner or the righteous, they hit everybody. Same Amen. Everybody. Am I right? Yeah. 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 You're going to buy bed somebody's house because they're a sinner. Amen. Probably because they're righteous. Amen. It is both families. Amen. That's right. Hello? Poverty and lack and shortage and being broke. There's no respect to person either. No respect to person. Am I right? Amen. Wars, when they come to the land, they don't care whether you're righteous or unrighteous, they hit your house too. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So why is it that people start talking about what we're going through? Mm -hmm. What we're going through? That's life. Yeah. If you're going anywhere, anytime in this go world, through. you're going through something. Amen. Amen. And like I always say, if you're going from, from Dillon to New York, <laughs> you got to go through all the little towns and states in between. Amen. Amen. So if you're going anywhere, you're going to go through something. Mm. You just don't care how hurt I'm going through. Okay, don't be as silly. Amen. <laughs> don't pitch a tent and live there. Mm. Keep pressing. Amen. You'll get through the storm in a little bit. Amen. Amen. If anyone did any traveling, they know what I'm talking about. Yes, Lord. Just keep on going. Well, yeah. come out of the storm in a little while. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And many times I've been on the highway on the interstate, heading to Florida, heading back to Florida, and running into a storm. Yes, Lord. Most folks don't pull over. I do if I just keep on going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run out of it sooner or later. Yes. Amen. It's good to say, Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 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 I'm on the storm always and everywhere. Amen. Amen. Keep, keep pushing forward, keep pressing, Amen. and eventually you will come out of the storm. Amen. But if you pull over to the side of the road where you pitch a tent, you got to endure until it hits stop. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 
Amen. You under Amen. You're under his control. Amen. If they go back, then you under his control. Mm -hmm. So whatever it's gonna dish out, you gotta go through it. Mm -hmm. Just stay on the road. Thank you. Keep Woo. pressing forward. Thank you, Jesus. Eventually you'll come through the storm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you'll look back and storm the hand. Amen. 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 God is good. All right, say press toward the mark of the high cross of God in Christ Jesus. But in all getting the press, he has to work. But get those things that are behind. Amen. As long as you reach it back, you won't be able to go forward. Nope. Mm. It's crazy to be walking forward and then be looking back. Mm. You're about to mess up. Well, now my right about it. Amen. Amen. Well, go with me over to the third and fourth chapter book of Hebrews again. We'll hit a couple of verses and we'll move out of there to the fifth chapter book of Galatians. So I might hit the 11th chapter book of Hebrews before we go there. But there was something I want you to, to, to pay attention to. And this is what I tried to help folks learn over the years. And some people call me a faith preacher, a faith teacher. Well, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is a faith gospel. Amen. 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 For you are saved by grace. Through Amen. faith that not of yourself, but it is the gift of God. Amen. Amen. And you must believe mm -hmm. that what Jesus said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Amen. Yeah. So, Isaiah said, except you believe, mm -hmm. you won't be accepted. The 17th verse of the third chapter For with whom was God grieved 40 years? Yeah. Was it not with them that had sinned, whose cognizance fell in the wilderness? Now, y'all think God is a respected person? No. So, who would God agree with? People that sin. It don't matter whether it was them or people doing it now. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they died because they sinned. Amen. Now, watch it. And to whom swear he that they should not enter his race? But to them that were. No. Brother, you not. You not. Did you hear that? No. Who did God say could not enter into his race? No. Those that wouldn't believe. No. Right? Amen. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Am I right? Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Now, according to the first Corinthians, in the first chapter, what is that, 21st? Let me go be sure that's what it is. Right. So we didn't buy the place, so I'm taking the time if I'm getting there. But I want you to write it down. I want you to meditate. Because see, a lot of people run around talking about it, maybe so. And God has a, well, I, I did it, you know. Yes, no, and maybe. <laughs> mm. No, that's not how God works. If that first chapter of 20, might be second, second grade. Yeah, second grade. The second grade, first chapter of 20. That's the one where everybody just reads out the food of preaching. First grade, second grade, grade sorry. Second chapter, I mean, first chapter, and first. Yep, that's it. It say for all the promises. Oh, that must have been very good for you. For all the promises of God in Him are ye, which means yes, and in Him that's in Christ. Amen. Which means so be. So God promises that those that are in Jesus are what? Yes. 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 No. Maybe so. No. <laughs> yes. No. Maybe so. And wait. No. No. That ain't it. No. But that's what you hear. Mm. Well, the poor bit to the people. Yeah. yeah. That God promises a yes, no, maybe so, and wait. That's not what they say. No. It says, for all the promises of God in him, that's in Jesus, are yes, huh? yes, yes, and in him, amen, so, amen. so be it. So why ain't it working, Pastor? Because third chapter, 19th verse, Hebrews. So we see they could not enter into the promises because of unbelief. But he didn't say promise, but that's what he was talking about. Because he had promised them Canaan land, the promised land. Amen. And they could not go in because of their unbelief. Amen. So the reason why a lot of people can't get into the promises that are given to us in Christ is because of what? Same reason. Unbelief. Now they go to the fourth chapter. 
Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. So Paul is telling us we should be afraid. Yes. Mm. Now watch it. For under us was the gospel preached. What? As well as unto you. Amen. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that mm. So it's you that must choose to put your faith in. Amen. God's not going to make you put your faith in. Unbelief is just choosing not to accept what God says and being so. Belief is choosing to accept it and being so. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So now you can choose to believe in your problems. Wow. Or you can believe, believe in God's solution to your problems. Amen. Amen. It's your choice. Yes. You can choose to believe that Jesus took your infirmity and bore your sickness in his own body, and according to Peter, with his stripes, you were healed. Mm -hmm. Or you can choose to believe that you go down with something. Hello? Amen. God never said he had to die with anything. He said one of them wants to Glory. die. Glory! He didn't say die with anything. He said he wants to die. So why don't you die with old Amen. Thank you. Long life. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Why don't you die with old Why don't you just die fully, fully satisfied? Amen. Amen. When long life would be satisfied, if I say long life, when long life would be satisfied, you would show you his salvation. Yeah. But why don't you just wait to get full and satisfied, they say, okay, then I'm ready to go. Amen. 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 Why the claim sit going out with sickness and disease? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to die from a heart attack. I guess I'm going to die from one thing. Why are you claiming that man? Yeah. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. My mama had cancer. Oh, mama had cancer. I guess I'm going to get it too. Yeah. Keep on saying it. Yeah. Death and life will defile your tongue. Yeah. Keep saying that. You will get it. Yeah. But what if I do get it? Well, take the word of God and negate it. Amen. Number five, neutralize it, put it to death, drive it out your body. Amen. How can I do that? Because the word of God is the sword of the spirit. You understand what that means? Yeah. Sword of the spirit. Now, every disease has a spiritual order. Amen. So you got to all shit. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I just heard the Lord say, Hear what my son had to say. Yeah. Because you've been looking everywhere trying to find a solution and he just gave it to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take the sword of the word of God and attack that spirit Thank you. that is behind that disease. Mm -hmm. and every disease is coming from the spirit. Yeah. Woo! Put the word of God on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that sword, that sword will, will cut. Spirit. Spirit and so and so bone, bone and mouth. And mouth. So use that word. So use that word. Amen. 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 Not understanding how to operate in the spirit. Well, so get the neighbor say you need to learn to walk, to walk in the new man. The new man. That's the spirit man. The spirit. The spirit man. Yes. First that on Bible 23 talks about sanctified being sanctified, Holy Spirit. Lord, that's so man. Lord, that's thank you. So man and spirit that mm -hmm. the blessed soul mm -hmm. in the body. Thank you. Jesus. So I'm gonna start at the at the 16th verse. Fifth chapter. May God open your eyes, may enlighten you, may speak to your heart, may he help you receive this word that will save your soul. May the Holy Spirit give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May he enlighten you in the things of God that you may know them in Yeshua's name. And everyone said amen. Amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. So he said in that 16th verse, this I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now, I want to thank y'all pray for me. See, I want to thank y'all for accepting me if I do this. Amen. Amen. I'm going to show you why, but I got scripture privilege for saying it. But uh, he said in my, I'm a, my closing commentary, okay? Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the weakness mm. of the flesh. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Walk in the spirit, you're not fulfill the frailty yeah. or the failure of the uh, flesh. 
One of the things that uh, I love with the scripture, I, I quoted it once while, but I, 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 I forgot to let it slip with the location of it. But it's in, in the song, David said, By my God. Mm -hmm. That was what he said, By my God. By my God. I ran mm -hmm. through a tree mm -hmm. and leaped over a wall. That's right. By my, by my God. Yeah. So how did he do it? By, by God. God. By God. His God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He always tried, you know, find a brother to be strong in the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Ephesians uh, 6 and 10. Mm -hmm. Find a brother to be strong in the Lord. Amen. And in the power of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what that means? You don't have to fear it because it ain't your mind. Hey. It's not your mind. <laughs> Amen. So you try to be strong in how you feel. Mm -hmm. You might want to call up and tell the truth. Yeah. Just cut the fence up and ask God to forgive you. Yeah. Instead of trying to be strong in faith, you try to be strong in your feelings. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your feelings ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. Woo! If you can really sense the power that God gives us, you probably blow up. Amen. You probably explode. Mm -hmm. You might go mm -hmm. You might blow a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would probably happen if you really felt it. <laughs> Amen. I've had the Spirit of the Lord come upon me so strong, the presence of God come upon me so strong. Yeah. I had to ask God to stay in hand. Because yeah. I thought it was going to kill me. Wow. Then one day I realized that that was what he was trying to get me to do. Yeah. To ask him to stay in hand. He wanted me to say, Lord, enlarge me. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Did y'all get me? Mm. I got it. Yeah. Enlarge me. Why? So I can handle it. Thank you. See, you can either grow up. I die. Amen. I'm going to use different. You can either grow up or wither and die. Amen. 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 Glory. So we're going to be blowing up in Christ. Amen. Glory. Not in ourselves. Trying to feel like we are. The just shall live by faith. faith. We walk by faith, faith. not by faith. sight. Therefore, being justified by faith, faith. we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whatever the call of God overcome of the world, and this is the victory that overcome of the world, even their faith. faith. Mm -hmm. But we are saved by grace through faith, faith. Not, not of ourselves, it is the what? Yes. Of God. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get that now? Mm -hmm. Then the Apostle Paul went so far as say anything done without faith is sin. Wow. And if you go to Revelation 21 and 8, it says, but the fearful. And the unbelieving, and I'm gonna skip all that other stuff, but that's what we think. That's the only one. Wow. Yeah. But the fearful and unbelieving are gonna have their part in the lake that burns fire and brimstone, which is the second death yeah. after spiritual death, yeah. separation from God for all eternity. So we need to come to the realization that we can use our faith yeah. to do what? To overcome mm -hmm. the weaknesses and frailty of this flesh. Thank you, Lord. Now look at the eighth chapter of the book of Romans and the third verse. So we're going to read the eighth chapter, the third through the sixth verse. Pay close attention. Amen. We've seen so much death going on in our generation, and before this generation, after this generation, every generation since mine. Amen. And people understand why. What I'm about to show you in these verses, and if you see it, it's going to change you completely forever. Your path has just grown brighter. For the, what the law, what is it? What the law could not do. Now understand me now. You go either fulfill it or go to hell for you. They don't get none of it. If they told y'all that if all the religious folk in the back so they can get the and fell on faith in it, go around telling everybody the law was done away with. That ain't what they said. Nope. Jesus fulfilled the law. Amen. What do you mean? He kept it. He was the only one able to keep the law. Amen. So by doing that, Mm. Y'all stay with me now. I might sound a little crazy. There is what they call an operating system on your computer. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. You can buy your computer and all they got on the operating system. Guess what? It won't be able to do what you needed to do, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to add other programs to it, right? Mm -hmm. Man. Right? Mm -hmm. Understand what I'm saying? So you got to put another program like a word processor. Right. A, a, a spreadsheet program, you know what I'm saying? That's right. You got to put all this on there. Mm -hmm. But if you just leave it like it is, yeah, it ain't, ain't much you're going to be able to do with it. Yeah. Now, some of them come with other programs that give you a free a freebies mm -hmm. to try to get you to buy something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But basically, when you get one, they, they brass and brass and bolts and brass and bolts. I can say that. Mm -hmm. All you get is the operating program and the system. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You gotta buy all the rest of that stuff. You sometimes say sometimes give you a free uh, 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 trial period of uh, uh, what do you call it a virus protection. Mm-hmm. But after the trial period, you gotta pay for it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is they give you a free trial period with Word uh, Microsoft Office. Then after that runs out, then you gotta sign up for another. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that don't come with it free. Yep. Amen. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. But you get the operating system right. Functional, but really can't produce and do anything for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you got a program. Yeah. Lord! <laughs> Some folk done caught on already. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of folks are just sitting there. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so they still don't they still understand. They still can't grasp the reality of what actually took place. Mm. God changed the operating system. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. But now it's up to you to program. Woo! God Christ. Amen. Your choice with the software <laughs> that He told you to program. It's your choice. Woo! So what I'm, I'm supposed to put to work. And, and I'm going to say it in a way that mess everybody up. I'm about to put the rules and regulations of God in yeah. the law. Amen. Which is the law. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So folks don't want to believe that. Because yeah, God yeah. says he took his laws and commandments and put them yeah. in our law and in our mind. Mm. So if they were done away with, how did they end up in your heart? Amen. If they were done away with. All right. Don't listen to mm-hmm. people. Don't pay any attention to them, the people that are totally, completely in error. Mm. They have messed up the church work. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. What God did was, now watch this now. Jesus was the personification of the new man. Mm. Let me hear y'all the oh, I almost couldn't take it. Oh, that's I nice. almost had to drop on the knees. Oh, nice. Jesus. Oh, he was the personification of the new man, the exact person that God was looking for. Mm. So he was the programming. Mm-hmm. And the operating system. Mm-hmm. But what did Jesus say he came to do? Mm-hmm. The will of his father, right? So he had to know who the will was, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So if, if you would have got the operating system of Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 see, let me let me share something with you. You got the PC and you got the Macintosh. Mm-hmm. The PC is a wonderful person you and any one of the program could operate in it. The Macintosh you got had a Macintosh program. Mm-hmm. You can't put Windows into the Macintosh computer. You don't need a Macintosh and PC. It won't work. Mm-hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. 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 Are you hear what I'm saying? Amen. So your operating system won't accept yeah. anything else. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Woo! Except that one new name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which wow. is in the beginning of the word. The word with God and the word was God. So what happened if you force something else in there? Oh, you have all kinds of glitches. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be shut down. So what's happened most Christians walk? So church folks walk with God. They break it down and shut it down. But they try to force something else in there that just won't function and won't operate in that operating system. You know what I'm saying? Amen. It's not going to accept another program. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Glory. 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 Amen. Mm. Mm-hmm. So when God changed your operating system, it's not going to accept any other program but what God created. That's right. Amen. Thank you. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to crash it. Amen. Yeah, what happened? The door was in here. Air, air, air. <laughs> yes, once it crashes, most of the time it's unrecoverable. Yeah. That's the call of the second death. They done died twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. So he said, for what the law could not do is that it was weak through the flesh. In other words, the flesh couldn't operate. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that one, Amen. The flesh couldn't operate it. Right. Because it was spiritual. Mm-hmm. The law is spiritual. Amen. So only the people that are Fleshly reject the law. Amen. 
All the people that are flesh, they say we no longer are under the law. Amen. Those that are spiritual say, I am under the law. Amen. Thank you. But the ones that are flesh and call them, oh, the law, that we're not required to keep the law no more. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're not keeping the law, the book said, third chapter, first epistle of John, fourth verse. What does it say? Tell me, I'm going to read I'm going to get my friend, I'm going to let y'all see this. I want you to get this in your notes. And every time you hear somebody try to tell you, oh, we're under grace, we're under the law. Well, grace is what put the law in the believe. Amen. Grace enabled God to write the law and the believer law. Amen. So he said in the fourth or third chapter, book of first epistle of John, mm-hmm. New Testament, New Covenant preacher. Mm-hmm. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Mm-hmm. So explain to me if the law was done away with. How can you transgress it? Amen. <laughs> if the law was done away with, how can you transgress the law? You can't go. Jesus said, heaven and earth will not before one jot a tittle of the law of man. Heaven and earth be gone. Amen. And when I came in here, the earth was under my feet and the heaven above my head. Amen. So that means the law is still here. Amen. So how is it done away with? Please explain that to me. Mm. So Jesus lied. Of course not. No. He came to fulfill the law, not to destroy it. Thank you, Lord. In other words, he came to keep it. To uphold it. Listen, for sin, whoever committed sin transgressed off of the law. But sin is the transgression of the law. Mm-hmm. I got to read some more. Y'all just forgive me. They're offended. Because you need to be offended. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sin. So if sin is a transgression against the law and he took away your sin, what did he take away? Your disobedience to the law. So what did he take away? The old operating system. <laughs> that was against the law. That's what he took away. The old operating system that was against the law. Because righteousness couldn't work in that bad boy. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why couldn't it work in that old system, Pastor Carl? Because that system came from, from that fellow called Belial. Amen. And there was a spirit of rebellion. Amen. You know what rebellion is? Mm. Y'all know what rebellion is? Mm. When you rebel, what does that mean? Mm. Y'all got it? Mm. So when you rebel, that means you go against the established order or requirement. You refuse to listen. You refuse to abide by it. You refuse to go along with it. That's rebellion. So when you say the law is done away with so you don't keep the law, what are you really doing? You rebel. So when that rebel got kicked out of heaven and it, and Adam and Eve listened, Eve listened to him and Adam listened to Eve and sold us into slavery to him, the nature of mankind changed. Mm. It was no longer God's mm. operating system. Now, now they became that other operating system. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And when you try to program it with righteousness, it won't, it won't work. Error, error, error. error. <laughs> error. A glitch. Yeah. Yeah. The lockdown won't run no more. Uh-huh. What's wrong? So what did God say he was going to do? He's going to take out that old system. Lord. And put in a new system. Oh, that's right. And then program it, write his laws and commandments in. Y'all get it? Amen. So they're walking in the standard and keeping the judgment. Mm-hmm. That's why the sinner can't serve God, because it ain't in them. That's right. You tell the sinner how to live right. That's righteousness. Mm-hmm. Their system is against, is rebelling against righteousness. Exactly. Everything in them is screaming against it. Exactly. Amen. Well, you got preachers in the pulpit and members of the congregation, they screaming against the law. Don't ask anybody. That's flesh. They still got that old program, that old operating system. And now you're trying to put the word of God in it. It won't work. He got kicked out of heaven because he didn't want to find that. Let me read on, but this is getting real good. I ain't got any rhythm operating in the spirit. Get out of the flesh. All right. So he said that third verse, he said, uh, so he came in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, what did he do with him? He condemned him. Yeah. He showed that it was possible. Jesus proved it was possible to live righteously. Amen. 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 
Y'all get this. That the righteousness of what? The law. So the law was done away. But why would why would Paul say that mm. Jesus put took the flesh and blood? Mm. Hello? Amen. That through the flesh, mm. huh? Mm. Huh? He was condemned sin. Mm. So that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Did you see that verse right there? Did you see the first part of that verse? So what's being fulfilled in you because Jesus condemned sin in the flesh? Yeah. And why did he do it? So it could be. So it could be. So Jesus condemned the nature of sin in his own body by refusing to obey Obey. and obeying his father to completion and fulfilled the will of the father by his death on the cross mm. without sinning. The Bible said Hebrews. I got to show you Hebrews. Hebrews. <laughs> well, yeah. This is so powerful. When you get this revelation, you know, never try to justify right. sin against God again. Amen. Never. You'll fall on your face every time you fail and beg his forgiveness for letting him down. Amen. So the second verse of the 12th chapter of Hebrews says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, what? Endured, endured the cross, despising the shame, mm -hmm. and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now watch this. But consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, that she be weary that means grow tired mm -hmm. and give up in your mind mm -hmm. and go to sing. You can't live old. You can't live right. Mm -hmm. what, what Paul said? You have not Amen. yet did what Jesus done. Mm -hmm. Resisted right. under blood, blood, striving against sin. Amen. Jesus refused to give in to sin, Jesus. even to the shedding of his own blood. Amen. He died the lamb without me, without yes, a spot that had not sinned. So he became the perfect sacrifice to redeem us from that old operating system. Amen. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> so that we could be programmed for the righteousness of God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That the right four verse, eight chapter one, that the righteousness of the law oh, might be fulfilling us. Who is it that the righteousness of the law is not fulfilling? Those who walk out of the flesh. Be People that are walking out of the spirit, you will never hear them say that the law was done away. But they're going to look at you just like I look at you and say, I am the law. What do you mean? Thank you. You want to see the law in operation? Look at me. Amen. That's what they're going to say. Mm -hmm. They're going to say, oh, no, I'm under grace. <laughs> but the Apostle Paul says, shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. God for me. So what did he go on to say? How can we who are dead to sin live any longer there in? Now we're back to what I was talking about and talking about being spirituality. Being spirit conscious and not body conscious. Mm. Hello? Who walk not out of the flesh what? But out of the spirit. spirit. Now watch this. For they that are after the flesh mind the things of the flesh. Now what are the things of the flesh? What I'm going to eat. What I'm going to wear. That's it. What I'm going to see. And what Jesus said. Don't be worried about stuff like that. Y'all need to go back to Matthew and read it to you. <laughs> he said take no thought for these things. Mm -hmm. But your father knows you have need of them. Then in that 33rd verse, what do you think? But see first. first. The kingdom of God. And what else? And his righteousness. Now, y'all think God seen? No. So, we just seek the kingdom of God. You know what people say? They say, well, that don't mean living right and not sinning. Mm. Mm. They say, that means his presence. Well, if you read Revelation, <laughs> and I, I can go back to Amos, the third chapter, the third verse, and don't have to go to 6th chapter, 7th Corinthians. Yeah. 
Christ said, I'll have no part of it. That's it, chapter 2 Corinthians. I go back to Amos 3 and 3, and it said, two can't walk together. Yeah. Except they be in Greek. And you think God in the Greek would sing? No. Yeah. So there's no way in the world somebody would have a presence of God breathing in their life and they walk into living in sin. Thank you. Thank you. you got to come out of sin. Amen. Lord. Thank you. Hello. Amen. Hello. Mm. Amen. Not, not. Anybody at home? Mm. The moment you start sinning, you separate yourself from God. Amen. Well, I thought God was merciful. He is. Now we keep telling you he takes no pride in the devil to weep. Amen. Why would he not? Turn him. Turn him. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So he said, but they didn't have the flesh, they mind the things of the flesh, but they didn't have the spirit, the things of the spirit. Amen. If you worried about, that's all you're concerned about in your body, you saw that. Amen. Really? Amen. Amen. Second, first John, the second chapter. Tell me what I'm going to I'll take that. It's this time. Yeah. I'll say, God's slowly down. We got to reach as many people we can, but the time is short. Destruction is coming. Yeah. Destruction yeah. on this land is I'm coming all soon. soon. But we got to get people ready. Amen. What do you get ready for? They didn't call on the name of the Lord, shall we say? The 15th verse said, Love not the world. Is that what he said? Yeah. What does it say? These are the things that are in. Jesus said, Where your treasure is. Lord, thank you. Remember, they don't have to flesh, mind the thing. Where your treasure is, there will be your heart be also. Mind did y'all get that? For your treasure is that where your affection and attention will be. That's why your mind is preoccupied with those things. But that's your treasure. That's why God said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because that's where your heart would be. If any man loved the world, what is it? What is it? What is it, y'all? The love of God, the Father, is not in him. It's not there. So I talk about heaven a lot. I talk about going to heaven. People almost want to cry. Those who want to die already died. Amen. Yeah. For me to live as Christ to die is gain. What do you mean by gain? I get to share this, this more affection and put on immortality. Amen. Yeah. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Yeah. With all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And I believe it before I had the experience of the other world. And now I walk in more world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I'm down with two reasons. <laughs> Amen. Why did that? For all that is in the world, the desire of the flesh, and the desire of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's one more thing that's right there. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. Amen. Pride, you can use more prestige in the world. Want to be thought well of, looked up to. So you strive for credentials. Mm. You strive for promotions. You try to acquire things so people can think you have arrived. Kid. Mm. Mm. Y'all ain't never heard that word. Yeah, right. mm. yeah. yeah we done arrived now. Yeah. Yeah. When? Yeah. 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 You're still just like the four drives of the flesh by the beast. What is it? Food. But something else. Yeah. Right? Clothes. A shelter for protection of the body, right? Mm -hmm. Three, self defense. Mm -hmm. Self preservation mm -hmm. to save oneself. Mm -hmm. Four, procreation. <laughs> sex, mm -hmm. the drive to have sex. The whole purpose of the drive to have sex is to recreate another one of you. you. Mm -hmm. If that's what your whole life revolves around, mm -hmm. if that's what you get the education, Lord, yeah. you get the career, and retire home. Mm. Don't ask nobody. You don't need to eat. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Oh, that is so good. I got somebody. I felt it. I felt mm -hmm. it. I sensed you in the spirit just then. I sensed it right there. Lord, you got you. convicted with them. Mm Humble -hmm. yourself in the mighty hand of God. He may exalt you in this season. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you live for. What about what's wrong with that? In the flesh, there's a whole lot wrong with it. But in God, ain't nothing wrong with it. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God first. Amen. Woo! Because yeah. no, that's what he wants for you. Mm. Yeah. But seek ye first. Amen. The kingdom of God. You know a kingdom? That's what the kingdom is. The kingdom. That's what the king has dominion, and that's what his word is law. 
Amen. So if the king told you to pursue those things, if that's his vision for you, that's his goal for you, then you won't get caught up in it and become your treasure. Right. Because right. the only reason why you pursue those things is so you may glorify your yeah. father. Who Woo! Is Amen. You may do his will on earth. Now that becomes spiritual. Because your whole reason for functioning and operating now is that God may be going back. Amen. Amen. So if you're pursuing riches, it's not because you want to be rich so you can feel like you're secure. Because you know you'll see things and no money. All that thing. The other man had a hundred thousand dollars in his pocket, the man killed him and took it. Amen. See that hundred thousand dollars saved? No. no. People that have much less right. and got keep. Yes. Much more and got keep. So please tell me how you can be secure because of money. Mm -hmm. Y'all never heard of treason? Y'all never heard of betrayal? Mm -hmm. So you think you can hide security guard and they can't be bought off? Right. Can't be paid off? Right. It doesn't happen so many times. Yes, right. Read the stories. That's right. You are somebody this one. You too, bro. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what that's saying? Mm -hmm. You too, bro. Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't remember that saying? Let me quick because y'all lost it. Don't study history now, you do the beginning of the day. It's wrong. Was that Mark Anthony? Uh, you too, Brute? Tech? <laughs> uh, Brutus? That's you too? That's a mark. <laughs> what happened about if friend betrayed him? He was one of them had a dagger, killing him. Amen. So you ain't never heard of betrayal? Mm -hmm. So you think your money will buy people? Well, they get ready to throw you under the bus, buddy. Yes, hey, 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 hey. But I'm going to ask y'all a question. If God got you back, whoo! Who? Who? <laughs> Somebody say, who? Who can be against you? If God got your back, thank you. And that's, I'm being serious now. If God got your back, you got to know this. And you are, it's over my mind. What human being, our creature in all the universe, yeah. would have a snowball chance in hell to get you? No. 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 There's no one, nothing in creation is greater than him that created it all. Amen. You understand that? Mm -hmm. People always talk about God is the greater power. Get saved. You talking about the false God. Amen. God is beyond power. He created. he created the power. Amen. Amen. Give God away from Not by losing the So if God created the power, that means he's greater than the power. Amen. So if he's greater than the power, what that mean? Mm. He's their boss. They do what he say. So if he told them to obey you, right. when you speak to them in his name, yeah. what are they going to do? Oh, Thank you. He didn't say thank you. Thank you. For all that is in the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, the, the book said it's not a who? The Father. But a what? The words. The words. The, words. The, words. the world passes away, and the desire thereof. But he that doeth what? The will of the Father of God abide forever. I love forever. Forever. So why is it that we don't want to be fleshly, calm, mind? Because they are after the flesh. Now watch, I'm going to read on a bit more, you'll see a sick person, eight chapter, what's wrong? For to be carnal in mind it is, that's why you want to be carnal in mind, because it's there, eternal separation from God. Now, let's come back to this planet and this life that we're living right now. If you're fleshly minded, it's separation from God. That means you're insensitive, you're numb. To the things of God. But you say, non responsive, unable to relate, unable to perceive, unable to know. So when you find out people struggling with being able to understand the things of God, I just told you why. Because they are fleshly, calm, mind. But remember now, I told you, God created man, a spirit being a vessel of the body. So why are they calm minded when they are more spirit? Then they are flesh. Mm. But there's an evil operating program yeah. going on inside them, mm. keeping them from recognizing that they are spirit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Making them focus more on flesh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
taste, feeling, mm -hmm. smell, mm -hmm. hearing, mm -hmm. sight. Mm -hmm. So what stimulates the sight, the hearing, the smell, the taste, and the feeling? Mm -hmm. It's all coming from without. Mm -hmm. So what is without? The word. Mm -hmm. Y'all get it? So when that's what you're being controlled by, you are no more than a beast. But if there's something controlling you from within, you're either possessed by the devil or God. Amen. One of the two. The fruit will take. Amen. Y'all get it? The fruit will take. So you can be a witch, a warlock, a salt, a salt, a charm, a charm, a charm, a charm, a soothsayer, a psychic, whatever. They're being controlled with, with the end spiritually, but by that evil one. Mm -hmm. You still got that going to operate for him. But when you're operating by God, you bring forth the fruit of righteousness. Yes, Lord. So he that doing righteousness is righteous Amen. because Jesus is righteous. Amen. He that committed sin does the devil. Y'all got what I'm saying? Amen. Let me on a little bit more. I want you to see. I really want you to see the, the, the danger of being oh, fleshly right. carnal mind. So to be fleshly carnal mind, it means the carnal mind. Uh, is the mind of death. I mean, and it, because of that, it's talking about spiritual death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm -hmm. How in the world can somebody truly be saved and then don't ever have no peace? Mm -hmm. God is the very God of peace. Yes. Jesus said, Peace I give unto you, mm -hmm. not the world give unto you. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What kind of peace the world give you when it's quiet on the outside? Mm -hmm. Everything come, everything going yeah. Yeah. for the plane, going through. Mm -hmm. But that's the world's peace. Yep. Yeah, nice. But when, when things go chaotic and confusing mm -hmm. and everything around you is falling apart and you still calm and at rest on the inside, that's that, that peace that comes from God. Ain't you crazy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you got them that just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The house burning down and they got something to get out of it. Yes, <laughs> While while Nero was a Nero, while Nero was the wrong bird. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so what? Seven verses. Watch this. This is this, and most people miss this, and they don't understand why they can't move on in the things of God. Mm. Why they're not maturing and growing and excelling in the things of God. Mm. Holy Spirit help them back there. Mm. They see it, but they have to know that repentance brings forgiveness. Amen. Confession and repentance bring forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Some verse say, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. And one definition of enmity means enemy and wall, a petition. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Because you fleshly mind, there's a wall between you and God. Oh, Jesus. So God can't get to you and you can't get to God because of your fleshly mind. Mm -hmm. Remember I started out through y'all St. John 4 24? God is the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Say a spirit, but it's the spirit. Yeah. The spirit. The reason why I say that and I come to think that is because every time when I'm when I'm referring to the Father, some, sometimes when I'm saying Father, I talk about the God. Amen. Of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. They just come out like that. But they ain't one God. Yeah. <laughs> well, they love God. And if you do, you gotta ask them about what God is talking about. We think he's God. That's the thing. Well, all the is they get more and more. Amen. There's a whole lot of would be and want be and never will be. Amen. But there's only one true God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if there's a wall between you and the, now, you want to know the things of God, you can't enter into the things of God, you can't experience the things of God because mm. they that worship Him must. And a lot of people worshiping after their mind, after their flesh. Mm. Wow. And you can see it. He said, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. But most people want to go to the church where everybody rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But he said, be still and know that I am God. Mm -hmm. He said, let all the earth keep silent. If God is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Mm -hmm. People don't even understand that. Do you realize when God is really standing there, them boys fell on their face? Yes. Hey. Their bodies lost strength. They couldn't even stand. Mm -hmm. But most people, when they think God moving, they know that's you happy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Happy over God, but when God really manifests, you ain't gonna be bumping. Amen. 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 Amen.
What is this your experience? I had an experience with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Many experiences with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Folks, you tell me about writing my story. I, well, I'm dead and dead and writing my writing. Mm -hmm. I was laying in the bed, and Jesus appeared over me. And it might have been the angel of the Lord. I don't know which one is the angel or the angel. said, walk before me and be thou perfect. Mm -hmm. The power of his presence so strong in me, I was still in the room. Like a dead man, Rick Morton said, say it again. I could not move. Stiff as a boat. That's our power. That, that's the kind of power that's on me. Mm -hmm. And then then, then I, in my spirit, I said, yes. And then he, he lifted. But can you imagine that? And people, do you imagine me trying under that kind of power trying to say, Whoop. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> the presence of the Most High overshadowed me and straightened me out like a stiff as a boat. Mm. I couldn't even, if I wanted to run, I couldn't run. Mm. I was scared out of my wits, I still couldn't run. It was like, I'm going to tell you something, it was like pure power mm. Mm. running through me. Like you done grabbed a hook to a 240 volt wire. <laughs> mm. You know, you can't hold 240 volt wire, bust your heart and knock your head. Yeah. But imagine grabbing that and holding it. Mm. Straight you out. <laughs> Your hair was straight down. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll look at you and be smoking. <laughs> you want to smoke feel the temple? <laughs> so when you really think about the presence and the power of God manifested, we're not talking about man. So when people around them, I feel God, you felt the wind. Amen. That was about you felt the wind, that was you felt. Amen. And yet people want to call that God. No, you feel that he's a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. You feel God, you might burn up. Mm -hmm. So you better be thankful you just say, Glory. Glory. Mm -hmm. well, that was something. Mm -hmm. So that God even lay his finger on your head, you straighten out. What do you think people fall when the presence of God going in so strong? Yes. Hey. But the first thing some of us want to do when the music playing that we want to jump in boat. He said, be still. Yeah. And know that I'm God. Mm -hmm. God is in his holy temple. That all the earth keeps silent before him. Mm -hmm. When God stands up, people ought to sit down. Let him sit down. The Bible said that they entered the temple and they made their voices as one. And, and the priest could not even the glory of God filled the house. Second mm -hmm. Chronicles 7 chapter. And the glory of God filled the house. And they could not stand the, the priest could not Ooh. stand the minister Amen. by the reason of the glory of the Lord. God. The presence of God. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know nothing about that because of that energy. Mm -hmm. You can sense God want to touch you right now. I feel it. It's yes, the Lord. power Thank and the presence of God that gets so real. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that energy yeah. is blocking him from being able to do. You can imagine that if somebody was still calling out flesh, if God manifested and said, Remember, they down? Was it they down mm -hmm. They entered into the temple in the flesh mm -hmm. to fulfill their duties in the flesh. And the presence of God killed him. That's right. Mm -hmm. When when was it Uzziah? King of Israel. Another king of the not king of another another one. Uriah. Uriah. They were bringing back the ark yeah. on, mm -hmm. on a cross. But they were supposed to be brought on a cross. The only one to care was the priest mm -hmm. and all the holy. Mm -hmm. And when it began to rock and he thought it was gonna fall, mm -hmm. Uriah reached out to test him just to, just to save it to keep him from falling. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't even overlooked by God. No, no one could touch that off because it represented the glory of yeah. God. But someone that was sanctified and consecrated. Mm -hmm. And he reached out and touched him and struck David immediately. Mm -hmm. David became afraid. Yeah. The Psalms, the prophet, the yes. king became afraid mm -hmm. and didn't want to bring it any farther. Yes. Mm -hmm. He feared God for real, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. God wants to tabernacle. Among his people. Thank you, Lord. He wants to walk in us mm -hmm. and have his being in us. Thank you, Lord. But we must separate ourselves mm -hmm. and pursue heavenly things for him to be able to do that. God wants to come down here on the earth before we come back to it. Mm -hmm. He wants to walk in you, move in you, have his being in you. He wants to be able to come to your job, to your home, to your school, mm -hmm. and your neighborhood. Yes. But through you. Amen. And the only way he can do it is that you yield. You surrender all this ambition and desire for the world. Let it go. 
This stuff is temporal. It's not really that. I've been places that were that now and recently that are totally different than they were 10 years ago. What's happened? Change. But what did he say about his word? It liveth and abide for hell. He that do the will of God, what did he say about him? Just like the word. So why are we trying to grab a hold of things that have changed? Thank Why are we pursuing temporal stuff? Thank you, Lord. That neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. I was coming up the road, and I'm coming in here. I was coming up the road, and I was putting God in remembrance of his promises. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I can so call for you. That's liberal. I can so call for you. I literally left my family. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you told me this, and you told me that, and you told me this. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Now, bypass the part about the rapture, okay? Y'all know that story, right? Amen. Maybe somebody listening that don't know that story. So I said, the rapture about to take place. God said, don't you think I know when the rapture is going to take place? Mm -hmm. You know I got condemned, right? Mm -hmm. I hit one with my feet full of spiritually a few seconds ago. Mm -hmm. But I was driving, so I couldn't drop. <laughs> so then daddy, being the father that he is, said to me, son, don't you know I exist outside of time? Mm -hmm. And he's still sitting at the bed. <laughs> don't you know during the millennium? Mm. I can take you back in time mm. and allow you to experience everything that I promise you mm. that bring you back to the millennium. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Did y'all hear God? Mm. I said, God, I said, Lord. See, once you understand mm. him, that he's God, mm. simply that, just that, mm. then you stop trying to put limitations on this. My Lord. There's no time in God. <laughs> God exists outside of time. <laughs> you understand? He exists at all times at the same time. Hey. As he looked at you now, he's looking at you before he even came in your mother's womb. Before. Yes, sir. <laughs> he knew you before the foundation of the world. Amen. And predestined you to become his child. Amen. So don't let the enemy trick you up with all this temporal stuff. No. You get caught up throwing away your life, worrying about this man. You tell him for nothing. That's right. But through prayer, supplication, and thank you, let me request the prayer. Father, I'm so thankful and grateful for the word tonight. Mm -hmm. Pray that somebody has been inspired to seek those things that are above, to walk in the spirit, to walk after the things of the spirit, to pursue them with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. It is our desire to be the reflection of you in this earth, that people may know you. Nothing in this world will last. Mm -hmm. Only our service to Christ will matter. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hearing my prayer in Yeshua's name, Jesus of Nazareth. Everyone said amen. Amen, amen. 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 again. Amen. Turn around, look at your neighbor and say, remember, 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 when you became born again, you, again, you received yes. your consciousness again. Yes. It was at that point yes. you were supposed to learn yes. how to operate yes. in the spirit. Yes. And if you didn't, yeah. Look at all the carelessness. Yeah. You're built up on your spirit, man. No one ain't so little. You got to get rid of that carelessness, that indifference, that complacency, that apathy. You got to get broken all over you. The way you're sensitive to the Spirit of God. Will God do that for you? Look at me now and say, Yes, He will. Because He said He married to the backslide. God bless you, everybody. We love appreciate you. Thank God for all of you that's my way social media. That God continue to work with you, work in you, and through you. The things that I say are real. The things that I say are true. And the Lord of God, I refuse to speak anything with us but what your Father said. Not for your hurt, not for your harm, not for this, to discourage you, condemn you, and make you feel bad, but inspire you to make you the world. God is offering something far more bad. If I say it, you, I, don't, I don't even understand how you be little this. I don't get that sonship. I'm a true born child of God. How you gonna stand in the house of the Most High God, the uh, house that's what we dedicated him, as I'm a true born child of God? No, you just trust your brothers and sisters. Just got three gospel and tell them, let me be little. Mom. They know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How you gonna do that? You don't be little what it means to be a son of God. Mm -hmm. I am a mini. Creator. 
I'm dead as many me. Amen. Mm. <laughs> we can never say that, bro. I'm dead as many me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 So if you understand that, you don't ever let nobody fool you. That mm -hmm. anything in this world won't bang you. Amen. You'll look at the devil and laugh. Amen. Just have a baby roll. And he brought running, crying like a whip dog because he really couldn't convince you of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it. Y'all understand that? Y'all understand that? He was with, think about it, he was in heaven. Yeah. He was a covenant sheriff. Mm -hmm. And yeah. God kicked him out because he wanted to be more than he created him to be. Mm -hmm. He can't have this no more. Thank He's you. out forever. Out. But you and I can go and come mm. and sit in the presence of the Father. Yeah. Lay our head on his lap. Yes. 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 Thank you. That said, God died. But he said, my son. My son came. Wow. <laughs> 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 Woo! Woo! Yes, my son. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he walked into the, the, the king's court, the angel of God started hollering, Father me, the king's chief. Father me, the king's chief. Amen. Another thing he showed me, you don't have to ask for an audience when you're a child. Mm -hmm. Stand up and sit back down. Lord, thank you. <laughs> See, when, you, when you're a child of God, you just walk right on me. Amen. And all, all the angels are hollering, the king's kid, bow the knee, the king's kid, bow the knee. Amen. I, I can't do with that no more. But that's what he's given us. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to walk and operate by the Spirit, you begin to learn that more and more. It becomes more real to you. God becomes more real to you. Father becomes more real to you. God become more real to you. Father will come over here. And sometimes y'all even out there saying, I say, I don't know why y'all said that. Like, I don't see how you can do it. I had to learn to restrain myself. The things that I sense and feel when I'm just talking the word of God is otherworldly. <laughs> Amen. That if some people felt what I sense and feel, they'd be screaming, they'd be bucking and running up down the house. You got to get out of here. I'm going to move back. Amen. But I had to learn that's not what that's for. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's just like, it's just like, you know, you got gas mm -hmm. and you got to go to work all week. So you go take your gas and burn it out on Saturday afternoon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know how dumb that is? God empower you to go out and do his work. Mm -hmm. And all you want to do is burn it up for you. <laughs> burn it up. Oh. God bless you. Don't listen to that way we have social media. Pray for <laughs> That's the realness. He's going to live in the fantasy world. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time to be about our father's business. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Daddy uh, before I uh, turned back to God. I was talking to Daddy on the way here. And I said, Daddy, you know what? It's been a while since so he didn't want some social media to send him off. Ain't that amazing? I ain't talking about the members of the church that live in my social media. I'm talking about our viewers. I said, you know what? They, something must be going on in their life. They have become discouraged. Hello. Let me tell y'all something. Hear me good. The Lord is my shepherd, mm -hmm. and I shall not want. Why? But then they call thing. He make it. He make it. Yeah. So if God is not calling you to rest in plan, that would bring passion. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. He's not really your Lord. Mm -hmm. He's not responsible for taking care of you unless he's your Lord. Mm -hmm. So you can't play that both sides of the fence with David. Can't do it. Don't worry. You're double-minded, mm -hmm. you're unstable in all your ways, mm -hmm. and he said you won't receive work. Yeah. Anything from the Lord. So anytime I see people that become unfaithful in, their, in, their, in what they do, mm -hmm. they're telling me that something's not right. Mm -hmm. So I just give you a key. Seek ye first yes, Lord. the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. And all these things should be added unto you. And like I've said so many times before, God is blessed. And I'm not saying it by faith. He is blessing. He is. He is supplying. The money is coming in, but I'm just saying those that listen to my way so you can read it have quit sending. Except for the members. So don't let the enemy rob you of that opportunity. Be glad, be, be glad to be a part of this. Amen. But there are not that many people out there giving it to you this plain. Now maybe you can't give me that good, but that's why we need more often coming in so we can get somebody here that's a professional and get this stuff set up right so you can hear me better, so you can understand me better. So when I listen to myself on my CD, it's real clear. Amen. Amen. 
very understandable. Yeah. So he's going across the media and getting this story for some reason. So I need somebody to try to operate this equipment and set it up for them, but they you got to pay these people. Amen. 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 A lot of them don't charge a little bit of money. Oh, no. So I just need somebody to be able to set it up for them and get it right so we can be able to see these things clearly. But you can order the CD, PO, right now, PO Box 769, Dillon, South Carolina, 29536. Uh, email us at lovingdeliverance at gmail.com. Uh, call me 843 Or text me if you don't want to talk to them. And I'll see it and send the address and we'll mail it to you. But I'm telling you, faith don't come by here heard. They come by here and hear Amen. Amen. And how can they hear without preaching? Amen. And how can the preachers have to be sent? And there's one thing I do know. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, nobody could ever take that from me. God sent me to do it. Amen. Long before I knew anything about doing I had a vision of this church. <coughs> I won't tell you that story. Anymore. But believe you me, this is divine. Amen. I don't say supernatural. But I ain't found that word in the Bible. But divine. Amen. <laughs> this is divine. Amen. So I said, this is divine. God bless you. Heaven smile is always nothing happen. We will see you again Sunday. And if you get home some grape juice of God fair life allowed to be here, you get home some grape juice and some unsalted saltine crackers, you'll be ready to go after me. First Amen. Thing, God bless you. Heaven smile. Sister Bob. Amen. Amen.